it is a fairly daunting environment with the IRB tournaments. You know, you've got 16, 16 countries competing at those tournaments, and there are some rugby powerhouses such as New Zealand and England, and there are, particularly in the women's game, countries that aren't perceived as rugby powerhouses, but they do have very strong women's programs. Push out! Good quirky, good, yes! We do a lot of on-field training um, in relation to our individual skill work and our team play, and then lots of education sessions with the girls as well. And obviously, you know, the recovery is a big part as well, being able to, to recover from the first session of the day and, you know, um, be ready for the next session in the afternoon. The beauty of this group is they, um, they help each other out really well. Like, a lot of our girls come from either touch or Oztag backgrounds, so they haven't got, the, haven't got the contact skills as such, but they do have very good catch-pass skills and very good spatial awareness. So it's a very young squad for us to be taking away. We're a bit unlucky with a bit of injury, um, but it's a great opportunity for these young girls to step up now. I think our team is very good, but very young. Um, we can take this opportunity though, and our back line is pretty sleek, like we've got touches in there. Um, then also our forwards are fairly experienced, so I think it showed from our training session today that we all kind of gelled and it felt really good, so we're on a um, great path towards London. My first major tournament was about six weeks ago and that was um, in Hong Kong and China. That was where I debuted on the World Series circuit. Um, but London is obviously going to be another big tournament for me. It's, it's still all new to me, so I take it very seriously and it, it'll be very big. Well, the World Cup in Russia is our immediate focus. You know, the ultimate big picture is, is Rio and all this development that we're doing and the, you know, the talent ID that we're doing, it is aimed at Rio. An example of that, you know, we've got the Sydney Youth Olympic Festival that was on in January. We um, had some good success there and girls from that squad were invited into various training camps here at the AIS and they've you know, forced their way into the, into the squad. Oh, I love, I love coming here. Just to train, eat, sleep, and that's all I want to do. <laughs> I've learned so much from Lainey and Scotty. Just the way my running lines, it's, it's totally different to 15s and I have had to, you have to think. The day's pretty full and there's not much downtime and then at night time we're pretty much looking over our uh, video analysis so it's pretty full on but we've got the facilities here that help us out to recover well and um, get us to train together very well. Make an early call, you see him switching, you make that early call of switching. This camp has probably been one of our better preparations for a tournament and I'm quite confident of going to both London and Amsterdam and you know, giving a much better display than what we put on in China.